Yes, good evening, everybody. Hello, Magali, Wendy, Emma, Gabriela. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. My name is Joyce. Um, let me know if you can hear me. No sé si me pueden escuchar. Yes. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? No sé si me escuchan. ¿Me escuchan? Sí. OK, perfect. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to English Beginner Ride. So it's standing el nivel principiante módulo 1. Welcome back. And uh, we are going to start, right? So give me just a moment to share my screen. Y luego vamos a empezar con eh, presentándonos, right? Acerca de nosotros, qué es lo que hacemos. Y también vamos a ver eh, en, esta, en este día, por ejemplo, los lineamientos que nos da Insafor para, eh, para poder tener, eh, estudiar en este módulo. Ok, so mi nombre es Teacher Joyce. Entonces voy a escribir en el chat por aquí. Me voy a decir Teacher. Me llamo Joyce. Joyce. That is my name, right? Ok, so les voy a compartir la pantalla para que podamos ver un poquito de qué se va a tratar este módulo. Eh, lo que vamos a estar... Estudiando, recordemos este módulo es, es más que todo un nivel principiante, right? Vamos a ver lo que son los números, el abecedario, cómo presentarnos, basic, basic aspects, right? Ok, mi nombre es, as I said, right? Joyce, no sé si pueden ver mi pantalla. Can you see my board? Can you see it, guys? Yes, ok, thank you. Ok, so... Uh, welcome, para los que se están incorporando, uh, we are about to start. Okay, uh, let me talk a little bit about my experience. Uh, this is my experience, right? I have uh, like uh, some years working as an English teacher and in other areas too. Okay, this is my perfil, right? And my experience, like, algunos años, right, working in this area. Ok, so vamos a hablar entonces un poquito acerca de, de, de este módulo. Eh, tenemos que las clases son de 8 a 10, eh, son de lunes a viernes, right, y empezando con este día y vamos a terminar el 20 de junio. So, son 20 clases, right, total. Y tenemos acá el enlace de WhatsApp. Me indican si todos están en el grupo, porque si no, se los puedo compartir también por el chat. ¿Ok? Si no, me pueden escribir en el chat eh, que no están en el grupo para yo podérselos compartir. Perdón, en el, en el mensaje de acá de Zoom. ¿Ok? Ok, vamos a ver la siguiente información. No sé cuántos ya han trabajado o han tenido clases o han tenido llamadas por Zoom, pero Zoom nos da este, estas ventajas, right? Tenemos la cámara, tenemos el chat, tenemos los breakout rooms. Usualmente en los breakout rooms trabajamos en grupo, con actividades así de habla, eh, para practicar, por ejemplo, la escritura, etc. Entonces, estos son los breakout rooms. Usualmente le va a aparecer un botoncito que dice Join. Usted da clic y se va a unir al grupo. Tenemos el botón Ask for Help. Eh, lo puede ver en su pantalla. Eh, está creo que hay una parte donde dice que puede levantar la mano, puede participar. Entonces, usted también tiene esa ventaja por parte de esta de Zoom, right? Ok, tenemos también acerca de las tareas y las evaluaciones. No sé si hay alguna duda de lo que hemos hablado ahorita. No, yo Magali. Ok, tenemos entonces eh, los lineamientos que nos da Insafor. Nos dice que es necesario obtener el 80% de tareas y evaluaciones. Aquí vamos a estar trabajando en una plataforma. Entonces, usted cada día que, termina, que terminamos la clase, ah, 
usualmente como terminamos tarde, right? No, no tenemos mucho tiempo. Entonces, el siguiente día usted puede completar las tareas. Eh, son tareas que usted puede hacer a diario. Entonces, necesitamos el 80%. Eh, estas sí tienen que hacerse como decía en la plataforma y son los temas que usualmente los estudiamos ese día en la clase. Tenemos también un midterm, un examen que vamos a hacer eh, después de las dos semanas. Y por último tenemos el final exam. Eso también es muy importante. Eh, tenemos también lo que es el manual. El libro que utilizamos está en la plataforma. Creo que la mayoría de ustedes ya está en esa plataforma. Si no, pues me indican en el grupo acá por Zoom, en el chat de, de Zoom, para, que, para ver si podemos solventar eh, lo que es la plataforma. Dígame, Jonathan, welcome. Thank you. Eh, buenas noches. Eh, ahora yo ingresé a la plataforma, uh -huh. pero... Eh, no me aparecía que estaba inscrito a un curso. No, no me aparecía. Si ya... Vaya, en este caso lo que usted ya está en el grupo, Jonathan. Sí, correcto. Vaya, entonces también en el grupo usted puede encontrar que están los técnicos. Esa es también otra forma para que podamos solventar. Ahí les va a aparecer el nombre de los que son administradores del grupo. Usted ahí también les puede consultar a ellos. Si no, eh, les voy a consultar yo también acerca que usted mencionaba ese inconveniente con él. Con su plataforma, ¿verdad? Que no le aparecía el curso. Sí, correcto. Ok. Entonces déjenme eh, consultarles a ellos. Si no, también usted les puede escribir en el chat. Ellos también están ahí en el grupo para que también le puedan solventar. De las dos formas podemos hacerlo. Ok, entonces, Gracias. bueno, a usted, Jonathan. Entonces tenemos el, el porcentaje, right? Les mencionaba el 80% en la asistencia. Recordemos que es muy importante también tener eh, los minutos. Al final, es, hay un cierto, eh, minu ciertos minutos que necesitamos cubrir, right? Durante la clase. Eh, tenemos que tener la cámara encendida. Esto porque nos ayuda a participar, right? Actualmente cuando tenemos la cámara encendida es porque nos cuesta un poco, nos podemos distraer. Entonces, por eso es necesario que tengamos siempre la cámara encendida. Y de hecho, Insafor nos, nos pide a nosotros como maestros que pedirles a ustedes, right? Que tengan su cámara encendida. Recordemos también que en su perfil acá, en la parte de su pantalla, tiene que escribir su nombre completo. La asistencia se hace dos veces, una al principio y la otra al final. Ok, no sé si hay dudas. Questions, guys? No? Ok, perfecto. Ok. Ok, algo también importante es que participemos. Inglés es más que todo que usted participe. Cuando participa el inglés, se puede olvidar, right? Entonces, try to participate. Si usted tiene duda de algo, you have to ask, you can ask, right? Okay, so that is basically my point. Okay, lo que les mencionaba, right? Nombre completo, la cámara encendida, tengamos cuidado con el sonido, right? Porque a veces dejamos el, el micrófono encendido y se escucha que el perro, que el gato, que el pan, etc. Así que take care with that. And uh, un summary, right, de lo que hemos visto hasta este momento. Con respecto a los permisos, yo no puedo decirle si sí, le doy permiso. No, no, no tengo yo esa facultad. Si usted va a faltar por X eh, problem you may have, tiene que comunicarse con los administradores porque ellos son los que llevan el conteo del, del tiempo, right? Ok, basically that. Ok, y les mencionaba lo de la plataforma. La plataforma, usted puede ir al enlace y le va a aparecer, eh, esta es la section, right? Sección 1, podemos ir a, la, a esto. Para que usted pueda ver la plataforma y... 
y cómo es que funciona. No sé cuántos ya ingresaron a la plataforma. No, no yet. Oh, Elizabeth. Ok, thank you, Elizabeth. Just a moment. Let's see. Ok, entonces en la plataforma uh, vamos a encontrar this part, right? Me dicen si pueden verlo. ¿Mi pantalla? ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Sí. Ok, estamos viendo inglés corporativo. Yes. Yes. Ok, perfecto, thank you. Entonces, les va a aparecer el video, right? An explanation, maybe an exercise. Usualmente en esta parte va a haber la clase. Luego usted va a encontrar la tarea. It is very... It's what we study, right? Es lo que nosotros estudiamos. Así que, it is not a um, problem. Entonces, si se fijan, it is very short. So, It's, it can be done right. Okay, no sé si hay dudas or questions. No? No questions, guys. So we are okay. So let's start. Vamos a empezar entonces to know each other. We're going to introduce ourselves and uh, we are going to say, for example, what we do, our names. And uh, basically, what we like and what we don't like, you can say that. Okay, vamos entonces a presentarnos. Everybody's going to participate. So I'm going to do it first. Y luego lo hace usted. Voy a hacer yo. And then you do it. Okay, you have to say your name. Tenemos que mencionar el nombre. So you can say, my name is. And then you say your name, right? I am from. Yo soy de. I am from Santa Ana in my case, right? And uh, vamos a compartir también lo que nos gusta hacer. Por ejemplo, I like to, let's see, um, uh, I like to run. I like to run. Me gusta correr. Um, let's see, swim and uh, watch TV. ¿Y qué es lo que hago? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, basically what I do is like to stay with my family and stay with them. También I, I teach English. I teach, sorry, teach English. And uh, I am a teacher, right? I am a teacher. So who wants to start, guys? Who wants to be the first one? Pueden levantar la mano. Ustedes tienen las opciones, me parece. So I can see uh, the ones that want to participate. So volunteers. Porque okay, acá no puedo verlos, right? No volunteers. Okay, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Let me see. Where are you, Jonathan? I can't see your face. Hi. Okay, there you are. Go ahead, please. My name is Jonathan. I am from Mexicano. I like to listen to music. I teach English. In... Are you a teacher? No, this is, is, is it for me. Uh -huh. What about you? Sorry. What do you do? Uh -huh. Um, I am a student, I, for example. I work. I work, okay. Okay, you work the whole day, right? The whole day. Okay, there you have. Okay, Jonathan, please, can you, algo más que vamos a agregar, Jonathan, anything else? Or that's it? Es, es todo, that's it? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, Jonathan, can you choose another person, please? Can you choose another person? Podemos elegir a alguien más, Jonathan, de la clase? Mm -hmm. Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela. Okay, veamos, Gabriela, are you there? 
Let's see what is Gabriela. See, oh, I don't see Gabriela. I can't see her. Guadalupe. Um, what is Gabriela? Oh, Elizabeth. Okay, go ahead, Elizabeth, please. My name is Magali. Mm -hmm. I am from Lourdes. I like um, dancing. Um, I work uh, auxiliar, no sé, cuentas por cobrar, como se diría. Like an accounting, let's say. Ah, like okay. Accounting, right. Accounting. Um, uh -huh. That's it. Okay, Elizabeth, thank you so much. Okay, is there somebody? Let's see another person. Volunteers, if not, I'm going to choose you guys. I want to listen everybody today. Okay, so I'm going to choose, let's see, Wendy Alvarado. Please go ahead. Tell us about yourself, Wendy. Your microphone, Wendy. My name is Wendy Celine Alvarado. I am from La Union. I like it. Uh, I like to see uh, watching TV and the program TV. Mm -hmm. um, I am a doctor. That's it. That's it. Okay, perfect, Wendy. Thank you. We have a, a doctor. I'm, I'm going to be calling you all the time, right? Okay, thank you, Wendy. So let's see another. Let's listen to Gabriela Beatriz. Okay, go ahead, please, Gabriela. Uh, good night, teacher. Hey, my name is Gabriela Moreno. Uh, I'm from Mexicanos. And I like to watch videos in my free time and mm -hmm. play with my cats. Uh, what I do, I I am assistant in the area of purchase and birds in my work. Mm -hmm. That's, it. That's it. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. And now too many girls. Let's listen a boy, right? Let's see what boy do we have to pay. We have more girls, right? But, but let's listen, Victor. Okay, Victor, go ahead, please. Uh, good night. Uh, my name is Victor. Uh, I'm from uh, Mexicanos. Uh, I like to running. Running. And I student the English, <laughs> the English, uh, uh, my favorite color is red and blue. Okay, your favorite color is red and blue. Okay, nice to meet you, Victor. Okay, let's listen another. Okay, let me see. What about Ruth Veronica? Okay, Ruth Veronica, please tell us more about yourself. Okay, hi. My name is uh, Veronica. Mm -hmm. I am from San Salvador. I like uh, to swim. Swim? Swim? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, I work the assistant. Assistant? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, assistant. Um, my favorite color in uh, black. Your favorite color is black, okay, mm -hmm. a dark color. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Ruth. Okay, let's listen another person. What about you? Maybe, maybe? Marbley, maybe. Okay, the first time I listened that name, maybe, maybe. Okay, go Hi. ahead, please. My name is Maybe Rodriguez. I am from La Unión. Mm -hmm. I like to watch TV. I work, no sé cómo se dice, laboratorista. You are, you work in a lab. You work in a lab. Gracias. Okay. Okay. You work in a lab, right? 
Okay, perfect, guys. Okay, you are uh, working in this place. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you. What about you? I don't see the name. Maybe you can help me, Andrea Maria Cruz, please. Can you tell us more about you? What do you do? Tell us. Hello. Uh, good night. Uh, my name is Andrea. I am from Ayotuxtepeque. Uh -huh. I like to see K dramas and listen to music. Okay, dramas, really? No, oh, they are, you know, they are so, I, I, I see that we can be friends, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, I got you. Okay, continue, please. And I work to, I work in logistics. Okay. Uh, and anything else. That's it, okay, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you, Andrea. Okay, let's listen, we have more, right? What about you? No, Elizabeth, you have already participated, right? Elizabeth Magali? Ya participé. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, let's see another. Oh, Sofia Stephanie Portillo, please. Good night. My name is Sofia Portillo. I'm from San Salvador. Um, I like listening to music. Mm -hmm and watch movies, see series, and I'm a work auxiliar uh, appraiser. I like swim and run, that's it. Okay, that's it. You like to swim and run, okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. What about you, Karina Gil, please? Gil, is, is it Gil or Gil? Gil. Okay, here, go ahead, please. Thank you. Uh, my name is Karina Hill. I am from Zaragoza. Mm -hmm. I like listen to music. Uh, I work at my Safe to Play Foundation El Salvador. Mm -hmm. My profession is teacher. And my favorite color is um, black and white. And my favorite food is French fish. French fish, okay. <laughs> what what what's that about? I have never heard that. What is that? What is the French fish? Uh, Tell me. Pescado frito. Oh, fried fish. Fried, okay. Fried fish. <laughs> fried fish. Uh -huh. fried okay. Fish. Yes, mm -hmm. me too. I love the fried fish too. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's listen one more. Alejandro, Dennis. What about you, Dennis? Are you there? Yep. Hi. Hi. Hey, Dennis, please. Good night. My name is Dennis Madrid. Mm -hmm. I'm from San Juan Opico. I like watch TV. Mm -hmm. I work um, accounting. Mm -hmm. You work in the accounting field. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Dennis. Nice to meet you. And uh, we have one person more. I can't see your name, but it says Usuario de Zoom, right? No dice nombre. So maybe you can, it doesn't say a name. Maybe you can check that. Hello there. No sé si creo que no, no, no puedo verlo. Creo que tiene que cambiar el nombre. No sé quién sea, but it says Usuario de Zoom. Okay, let's see who is missing. ¿Quién hace falta, guys? Who is missing? Okay, nobody else is missing? Hello. Hello, oh, hello, Alejandra. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Alejandra Portillo. Mm -hmm. I am from Mexicano. I like to the, listen to music. Mm -hmm. I am work community manager. Mm -hmm. he, um, my favorite color is pink. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Alejandra, nice to meet you. Okay, guys, no, no, nobody else is missing? Nadie más me hace falta? Remember, this is for you to practice, right? Okay, Rob, same, please go ahead. Okay, Roxana. The microphone, the microphone. You have to turn on. No, Roxana, we can't listen. No podemos escucharla, Roxana. Parece que no, you have to turn on the microphone. 
No yet, todavía no lo escuchamos, Roxana. No. Hello. 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 Who is speaking? Good night. I am um, Guadalupe Fernández. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am from Lourdes, Colombia. Mm -hmm. I like um, to room. To room uh, is very day mm -hmm. and listen to the music. Mm -hmm. I wore the whole that it a uh, Toto uh, assistant the import. Mm -hmm. uh, my professional uh, is engineer. Mm -hmm. My color flower, uh, color fav favorite. Mm -hmm. My favorite color. Mm -hmm. my, favorite, my favorite color is pink mm -hmm. and black. And black. Yeah, and black. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Guadalupe. Nice to meet you. Okay, Roxanne, no sé si todavía podemos, si tenemos problemas todavía o no. Okay, so maybe we can try later. Okay, mientras you can fix that. Okay, guys, solo, uh, solo recordarles que este es un nivel bastante básico, right? Yo sé que muchos acá ya tienen conocimiento de inglés, pero eso nos va a servir para reforzar un poco esos contenidos, porque a veces dejamos de estudiar inglés y a veces se nos olvidan cosas, right? Pero solo pedirles que estemos en las clases, right? And uh, that you participate, right? That is the, the point for you to learn English. English, it's just a matter of practice. Okay, so let's go with the lesson, right? Today we are going to study the affirmative and negative statements using the verb to be. That is the topic. And let's see what we have. And uh, But before, vamos a hacer un vocabulary, right? We're going to practice vocabulary. These are like some professions, right? We have the maintenance, we have the supervisors, we have the engineer. Recuerdo que alguien dijo que era engineer, right? We have the floor manager, track driver, and we have secretary. Okay, so can you, I want to listen a person for pronunciation. Voy a repetirlo, and if you have questions, you can tell me, right? Okay, antes que se me olvide, y se los iba a decir um, before, right? Cuando usted entra a un lugar, no decimos good night, right? Good night. Cuando usted, por ejemplo, va a entrar a la clase, no decimos good night, decimos good evening. Good evening, teacher. Or we can say hello. Bye. El good night, este good night, lo vamos a utilizar cuando usted ya se va de un lugar. Por ejemplo, terminamos la clase, ok. Good night, teacher. Entonces, solo en ese caso vamos a utilizar el good night. Pero cuando usted está entrando a un lugar, you say good evening or hi or hello. Ok. No questions, guys. Just take care with that. Ok. So, let's go, right? We have the word maintenance. Maintenance, right? Que es como el mantenimiento. Maintenance. We have the word supervisor. Supervisor. Then we have the engineer. We have the floor manager, track driver, and we have the secretary. So who wants to read for pronunciation? Who wants to read for pronunciation? I think you can read para to see right, to improve, para que mejoremos the pronunciation. Somebody else? Raise your hand if you want, right? Volunteers? No volunteers to read the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Nobody? Okay, I have two participants. Let me see who they are. I have uh, Victor Esquivel. Uh, okay, Victor. Okay, can you read, please, Victor? Main. Maintenance. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. 
My name is supervisor. Excellent. Engineer. Floor manager. Perfect. Truck dr driver. Truck driver. Oh, truck driver. Mm -hmm. secret secretary. Okay, perfect, Victor. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent pronunciation. Okay, somebody else. Do we have a participant? No? No, no. Okay, good, guys. So let's go with the vocabulary. What word is it? Can you tell me? Oh, Karina, please. Do you want to read, Karina? Yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Floor manager. Okay. Uh, super, 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 supervisor. Supervisor. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Truck driver. Driver. Truck driver. Driver. Truck driver. Mm -hmm. Truck driver. Engineer. 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 Is secretary. And secretary. secretary. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Okay. Thank you, Karina. Excellent job. Okay. Let's go with number one. Okay. Alejandra, what is number one in exercise three? What is the word that we have to order? What is the word? Alejandra Portillo, please. What is la palabra que tenemos acá? What is the word? En engineer. Oh, yes, right. It is engineer. Okay, can you say that, please, Alejandra, one more time? Una vez más, Alejandra. Engineer. Engineer, okay. Thank you, Alejandra. Okay, let's listen. Number two, please, Jonathan, please. What can be that word? What is the word? Jonathan, please. What is the word? Well, la primera. Number no, okay, number two. Sorry, number two. This one, number two. This one, number two. Uh, my name. Mm -hmm. We have two words, right? Tenemos dos palabras. We have two words. Uh, Rolo. Mm -hmm. Grammy. Okay, we have that it is, that's right, floor manager, right? The floor manager. Okay, thank you. So let's go with number three, please. Let's see, Wendy Alvarado, please go ahead. Number three. What is the word in that case? Okay, I see. Okay, let's see. Karina Hip, yes, what is the word? Secretary. Oh, yes, right. It is secretary. Secretary, yeah. What about number four, Guadalupe? What is number four? Supervisor. Okay, number four, we have. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Five supervisor. Okay, five. Yes, it is supervisor, right? Supervisor. That's right. And what about four? Four truck, truck driver. That's right. We have it is truck driver. E and six and maintenance. Maintenance, right? We have uh, the maintenance. Ma ma <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that is a difficult word, right? Maintenance, right? Mantenimiento, maintenance. Okay, thank you. Excellent job. Okay, questions, guys, about these words. No sé si hay dudas, questions. No? Okay, good, guys. So let's move on to the next activity. How, how do you mean floor manager? Floor manager is the manager del, del piso. The, the ones oh. that uh, están encargados de un solo lugar, manager. Oh, okay. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let's listen this part. Vamos a escuchar a conversation, right? About the work and uh, 
about jobs, right? Vamos a escuchar eh, de qué están hablando acerca de los jobs. Así que, give me just a second to share with you my screen. Let's just a quick minute. Can you see my screen? Indican si pueden ver la pantalla? Yes. You see? Okay, thank you. See? Okay, so vamos a escuchar. You're going to listen, and then we are going to complete this part, right? I'm going to be scrolling down for you to see the sentence and then you tell me the answer. Voy a estarlo eh, bajando la pantalla, right? Scrolling, scrolling down para que ustedes puedan ver the question y puedan identificar the answer. Number one, he really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. Number two, my father teaches math at a university in our hometown. Number three, I now work downtown at a bank using software programs to manage their financial records. Number four, she carries a gun for protection as part of her job. Number five, the man will explain all of the historical sites on your trip. Okay, number six. Sorry. Maria works at a clothing store helping customers find what they need. Number seven. He'll stop near the next light and you can get off there. He'll stop at the next light and you can get off there. Number eight, the woman took my order, but the food hasn't come yet. Number nine, the man said that my car wouldn't be ready until tomorrow because he hasn't finished repairing the problem. Number 10. My sister enjoys working for the airlines, but traveling so much and assisting passengers all day on long flights can be tiring. Okay, no sé si pudimos escuchar bien de listening. Yes, or una segunda vez, second time. Yeah. One more time, una vez más, guys. Yes. One more time. No sé si estamos bien con el audio. Me indican, please, si lo, si lo escuchamos bien. Yes. Yeah, estamos bien. Okay, okay. perfect. Let's listen one more time. Number one. He really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. Number two, my father teaches math at a university in our hometown. Number three, I now work downtown at a bank using software programs to manage their financial records. Number four, 
She carries a gun for protection as part of her job. Number 5. The man will explain all of the historical sites on your trip. Number 6. Maria works at a clothing store helping customers find what they need. Number 7. He'll stop near the next light and you can get off there. He'll stop at the next light and you can get off there. Number 8. The woman took my order, but the food hasn't come yet. Number 9. The man said that my car wouldn't be ready until tomorrow because he hasn't finished repairing the problem. Number 10. My sister enjoys working for the airlines, but traveling so much and assisting passengers all day on long flights can be tiring. Okay, guys, una vez más, one more time, or we can answer, you tell me. ¿Cómo estamos? Una vez más, one more time. Sí. Or, yes, okay. Yes. It no problem. Number one, he really enjoys preparing food at the Italian restaurant. Number two, my father teaches math at a university in our hometown. Number three, I now work downtown at a bank using software programs to manage their financial records. Number four, she carries a gun for protection as part of her job. Number five. The man will explain all of the historical sites on your trip. Number six. Maria works at a clothing store helping customers find what they need. Number seven. He'll stop near the next light, and you can get off there. He'll stop at the next light, and you can get off there. Number 8. The woman took my order, but the food hasn't come yet. Number 9. The man said that my car wouldn't be ready until tomorrow because he hasn't finished repairing the problem. Number 10. My sister enjoys working for the airlines, but traveling so much and assisting passengers all day on long flights can be tiring. Let's try to do it together, right? What is the job, the occupation of number one? It says he really enjoys working, maybe, at the one. What is that? Is that a chef? Is that a host or a bank teller? Chef. Yes, right. Let's see if that's correct. Okay, yes, it is. What about number two? 
my father in our hometown. Teacher. Um, we don't have. Professor. It is professor, right? Professor. Mm, professor. Usualmente la palabra profesor uh -huh. se la deja escuchar cuando, se, cuando den clases como en la universidad, right? That is the professor. Teachers eh, son los que llegan hasta bachillerato. Professor is eh, in the universities, right? That's why it says my father teaches math at the university. Okay, perfect. What about number three? I now work downtown. What is the profession in that? Software programmer. Mm. Let's see. That's right. That's right. It is an accountant. Mencionó. This is the sentence, right? I now work downtown at a bank using, right? Podemos tener como confusion. Using software programs to manage their financial records, right? Entonces es un accountant. Okay, what about number four? She carries part of her job. Is that a landscaper? Police officer. Or is it a, okay, a listen police officer? Let's see? Yes, right. She carries a gun. Okay, what about number five? The man will explain. What is that? What is your occupation? Tour guide. Yes, right. It is the tour guide. That's right. Okay, what about number six? We have that Maria works at what they need. What, what is that? Is that a telemarketer, a sales associate, or a secretary? This is secretary. Hmm. Está un poco tricky. Telemarketer. Okay, vamos a ver. Let's try with telemarketer. Secretary. No. It is a sales associate. Usualmente se le llaman a los que están en, como cuando usted va en Simán y le dicen que quiere o cosas así, ¿verdad? Entonces, es el sales associate. Okay. So, what about this one? Este está un poco tricky, right? What, what can be the answer? We have a hotel clerk, we have a bus driver, and we have an electrician. What, what can be the mm, bus meaning? driver? Driver, okay, let's see. Yes, right. Good listening, tenemos buen listening. Porque esta, no tuvimos ninguna pista, ninguna, any clue. It says, he'll stop near the next light. Usualmente light les llaman como el semáforo, right? The next light. Usually, usually. Or the traffic light también. Okay, what about number eight? We have server, dishwasher, and we have a host. Server. Dish. Okay, I listen server, right? Let's see, let's see. Yes, right. The woman took my order. Tomó la orden, right? But the food hasn't come yet. Entonces, yes. It is the, the server, right? El host es cuando usted dice el anfitrión, right? De la casa, cuando usted tiene fiestas. You are the host, right? El anfitrión. So what about... Number nine, taxi driver, mechanic, or sales manager. Mechanic. Mechanic. Right, right. They mentioned something about the repairing problem. And the last one, what, 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 what do we have? Pilot, we have a flight attendant, ticket agent. Ticket agent. Okay, let's see, ticket agent. No, right, we got seven. Pasamos, pasamos, así como que. Barely, right? <laughs> but it is the flight is attendant. <laughs> okay, but don't worry. Recordemos que, como les mencionaba siempre, el inglés es de práctica. No es que vamos a aprender inglés a ah, una semana y a la siguiente ya puedo, right? No, toma años, right? To learn English. Lo mismo pasa con el listening. 
el listening usted lo va a mejorar solo si practica. That's the only way. Okay, so let's move on to the last right? Vámonos entonces to the lesson. And um, creo que están viendo my work. Y vamos a review. Creo que la mayoría y vamos a hacer un review. Si no, pues vamos a repasar this part to review. Okay. So, vamos a empezar with the subject pronouns, right? Los sujetos, right? The subject pronouns. In English, right? Eh, no podemos omitir, dejar de omitir el sujeto. It is essential. En todas las oraciones, in every sentence, a excepción de algunos casos que ustedes lo van a ver más adelante, siempre utilizamos los sujetos. A veces queremos traducir el español con el inglés y es ahí donde nos encontramos sin problemas. ¿vale? Son muy diferentes. Incluso Google Translator a veces nos falla, right? A veces nos falla mucho Google. Ok, entonces tenemos los sujetos. ¿vale? Tenemos en el caso de la primera persona que es singular. Tenemos en el caso de you, cuando se dice tú, right? You en singular. Tenemos he, que va a ser para él en singular, right? Tenemos it. Esto lo vamos a utilizar cuando usted tenga algún animal. Just one, solo uno. O tenemos eh, una cosa, right? Es un animal, just one or one thing, una cosa. Tenemos también el she que lo vamos a utilizar como ella, ella, right, she, ella. Tenemos en el caso de los plurales, vamos al otro lado, que es we, que este es nosotros, nosotras, yo me incluyo, right. Ok, tenemos you, ustedes, si se fijan son iguales, right, en escritura. Y vamos a ver una, en qué usted puede decir, ah, pero cómo lo voy a diferenciar, right? Okay, usualmente es el complemento. Por ejemplo, you are a student. Estamos diciendo un estudiante y lo estamos utilizando como singular. Pero si lo estamos utilizando en plural, sería you are students. Le agregamos la S. Entonces, básicamente es ahí donde vamos a... To see the difference. Okay, so let's continue. Then we have they, right? Ellos o ellas. Ahí yo, yo no me incluyo in that part. Okay, do you have questions? Recordemos que estos también podemos reemplazarlos por un nombre. Por ejemplo, María. María is smart. Es inteligente. Podemos decir, she is smart, en vez de utilizar María. Ahí estamos reemplazando, right? Ok, no sé si hay dudas about this part, guys. <coughs> Questions? No questions? Ok, so let's practice. Vamos a practicar this section. Ok, so me indican si pueden ver los ejercicios, si pueden ver the exercise. Yes. Yes, guys. Ok. So, let's, vamos a reemplazar, right? Tenemos que fijarnos en el sujeto de la oración. Por ejemplo, tenemos Pan is a gymnast. ¿Qué sujeto puede reemplazar a Pan? Estamos, de, es una girl, right? ¿Qué sujeto podemos utilizar? Sí. It's a girl, right? Sí. Eso. Yes, right. Vamos a utilizar she. Muy bien. Number one is going to be she. Te los voy a escribir en el chat para que nos... Ok, number two. Tenemos, we have uh, Tom and Bill are in the yard. Tenemos dos sujetos. What is the subject? Que podemos reemplazarlo. Sí. They, they, that's right. They. Muy bien. Then we have number three. This copybook 
is green. ¿Qué sujeto debo utilizar? It. That's it. right. Voy a utilizar it porque el it es para un one object o un animal, right? It. Okay, we have number four. Tim is on the floor. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar acá? He. He, he that's right. He. Muy bien, what about five? Look at this. This is an object, right? It's an object. It. It, right? Vamos going to use it, right? So we have number six. Who wants to do number six? Quien quiere hacer la número seis? Who wants to do number six? He. He. And it's a boy. It's un chico, right? He. Yes, that's right. It's going to be he. Then we have this parrot. It's nice. Sería en ese caso? It, 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 that's right, it. Vamos con la number eight. The children are in the bus. ¿Qué sujeto vamos a utilizar? What is the subject? They. They, muy bien, they. Are they. ¿Por qué they? Porque estamos hablando de los niños. Los niños, the children, right? Tenemos la, la siguiente, number nine. These books are mics. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar? It. 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 Mm -hmm. It es para uno, right? Y aquí nos dice que estos libros, cuando usted vea la S, plural, right? You. They. They, muy they bien. Are, they are good. They are, exacto. También el they lo podemos utilizar cuando tenemos varios objetos. Ok, they. Ok, Bill is a runner. What is that one, guys? Bill is a runner. Sí. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. It is he, right? He. Then we have 11. This box is a present. What is the, the subject? It. it, right? That's right, it. And then we have Andrew is on the sofa. He, he right? Tenemos que es he. Then we have 13. My scissors are nice. It. They. 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 Mis tijeras, right? My scissors. They. Even though, podemos decir que como es un objeto, right? But si nos fijamos in the sentence, tenemos the, the verb to be are. Siempre que tenemos are, usualmente es plural, right? Tenemos Also, tenemos are aquí. No podemos decir it are. Okay, that is a, a, a clue, right? Then we have Mona and Liz are in the room. They. They. And the last one, these flowers are yellow. They. They. The last one is. Okay, no sé si hay dudas. Questions? No. Okay, this, this, is, this is like the base, right? Tenemos que saber identificar dónde es que van eh, los sujetos y, cuán, y por cuáles podemos reemplazarlos. Okay, so if uh, you don't have questions, guys, no questions? No questions, okay, good. So let's move on to the grammar part that we for today. That it is the affirmative, and the negatives, right? So, de uh, acuerdo, based on each subject, de acuerdo en cada sujeto que tengamos, 
Así vamos a utilizar el verbo to be. Significa ser o estar. For example, I, vamos a utilizar el am, con you, con we y they, vamos a utilizar el are, con he, she, and it, vamos a utilizar el is. Por ejemplo, I am happy, yo estoy o yo soy una persona contenta, right? Then we have you are at the school, tú estás en la escuela. He is, él eh, tiene hambre, right? He is hungry. También el is lo vamos a utilizar cuando nos refiramos, nos estemos hablando de la edad. Por ejemplo, si yo digo yo tengo, I am, yo tengo 25 años, 25 years old. Entonces, el verbo to be lo vamos a utilizar con la edad, right? Eso, that is like the rule. Okay, así que tengamos cuidado porque a veces decimos o utilizamos otro verbo. Entonces, que no es el adecuado. Ok. Let's see la forma negativa. La forma negativa simplemente le vamos, podemos hacerlo de dos formas. La forma larga que sería, en el caso de I, sería I'm not. En el caso de la forma larga de, de he, sería is not, right? De we, we are not. Tenemos la forma corta, que sería isn't o aren't. Si se fijan acá, el sujeto I no tiene contracciones. Entonces sería I am not en el caso de la negativa. Si sí lo podemos hacer más corto, de otra forma, en el caso de hacer más pequeño, el verbo que I'm not right. That is the other way. Ok, eh, let's see. Ah, one, una cosa más. La forma corta la utilizamos cuando estamos hablando, right? When you are speaking. La forma larga, de long form, usted la va a utilizar cuando esté escribiendo o correo formales. That is the main difference. But mostly, cuando estás hablando, when you are speaking, you use the short form. Questions, guys, about this activity? Yes, Dennis, tell me. The microphone, Dennis. The microphone. Podría repetir, por favor. Eh, la forma eh, negativa cuando se escribe y cuando se habla? Uh, ¿La pronunciación? ¿Es eso, Denise? No, eh, cuando se escribe. ¿cuál ah, es ah yes, oh, ok. Entonces, la forma larga, la forma larga que en el caso que sería eh, de is not, ¿verdad? De long form. Forma larga sería, por ejemplo, I'm not. Por ejemplo, it's not, más los sujetos, right? No olvidemos agregar los sujetos, are not. Se va a utilizar más que todo cuando son writings, algo bien formal, writing. Cuando usted envía correos, por ejemplo, formal writing. Formal writings es cuando se utiliza esa forma larga. Pero si usted está, uh, la short form, right? Lo vamos a utilizar cuando usted está speaking, cuando usted está hablando, mainly speaking. ¿Qué serían las contractions, right? Ok. No questions, guys. No questions. Okay, no more questions, guys. If not, I can continue. Okay, uh, the pronunciation, it is not so difficult, right? In the pronunciation, we can say am, um, are, is, and I'm uh, um, not, aren't, isn't, basically that. Okay, let's continue. 
And uh, let's practice this one. Okay, vamos a hacer sentences. Complete the following sentences using the correct form of the verb to be and the occupations in parentheses. Okay, tenemos the first one. Let me add the verb to be. Okay, can you help me? Vamos a hacer de la forma afirmativa and the negative form. Okay, let's see. Gabriela Beatriz, can you help me with number one, la forma afirmativa y la forma negativa? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Eh, eh, Alan is... Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. Truck driver. Uh -huh. Is a truck driver. ¿Y la forma negativa? Alan is a truck driver. Alan isn't or is not right. It's not a truck driver. Thank you. So let's continue. Can you help me, Emma Gloria, please? Emma, no. Okay, Sofia, please, number number two. Um, the two, I am assembler. Mm -hmm. I am an I, assembler. Mm -hmm. The negative form is I, I am not assembler. That's right, I am not right. I am not. Oh, la forma corta también, right? Tenemos la otra forma corta. You notice here we have this otra forma corta, right? I'm your, his, she's. La otra forma larga también. Okay, so number three, please. Can you help me, Roxanne, please? Roxanne Alice, number three. Michelle mm -hmm. is a floor manager. Mm -hmm. La forma negativa? Is not right. Okay. She is not. También. She is not. También podemos decir she isn't. Muy bien. She is not. Podemos decir she isn't. Y el complemento, right. Thank you. Number four, please. Let's see, Andrea Maria, please. Number four. Nos dice que tiene que estar en negativa. Okay, hagamos mm -hmm. en negativa entonces. Let's do it. My boss. My boss. I am. Mm -hmm. My boss. Mm -hmm. Estamos hablando de él, ¿verdad? Uh, my boss is. That's right. Isn't. Is not o también isn't. Uh -huh. uh, what is the pronunciation? Maintenance. The maintenance. 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 Mm -hmm. maintenance. Mm -hmm. My boss is not maintenance. No está en mantenimiento, right? Maintenance. Okay, that's right. También puede ser isn't, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you help me with number five? Let's see. Dennis, please, number five. Nos dice que tiene que ser en negativa. Negative, right? He is not mm -hmm. a floor he manager. Is not a floor manager. That's right. Otra forma, Dennis, another way. Um, he's not. He's not a, right. A floor manager. It's not perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's continue, please. Uh, can you help me, Karina? Number six. Um, Tina. 
Mm -hmm. Tina is engineer. Is engineer, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Tina. La forma negativa, isn't, right? Isn't, okay. isn't engineer. Muy bien. Thank you, Karina. Okay, questions, guys? Questions? No questions? Okay, here you have también tenemos acá las otras formas, right? Forma afirmativa. Eh, por ejemplo, I am not, I'm not. Esa es otra forma corta, right? You are, your, you are not, you're not, right? Short forms. So, otras formas, right? De decir the same thing, the same idea. Okay, no questions. Okay, so hoy vamos a irnos entonces a los breakout rooms y ustedes van a trabajar this activity in groups, right? Okay, en la primera parte. Okay, in letter A, en la primera parte. In this one, lo que vamos a hacer es. Acá vamos a escoger el verbo to be, right, de acuerdo al sujeto. Revisemos bien el sujeto, que está al principio de la oración. Entonces, para que identifiquemos, right, con qué verbo to be se utiliza el sujeto. En la parte B, vamos a hacer las oraciones en negativas. Right, tenemos la oración Jane is a teacher. La negativa, is not o isn't. Luego tenemos, vamos a reescribir this sentence, right? Utilizando la forma corta. Está la forma larga, entonces usted la tiene que hacer de la forma corta. Okay, es la sección que ya vimos. Right, la forma corta. This one. Ok, en the last one vamos a ordenar las palabras, right? Recordemos que en la oración siempre vamos a utilizar el sujeto primero, luego el verbo to be y luego el complemento. Eso es la regla para este tipo de oración. El sujeto, que ya lo estudiamos, right? Verb to be. Y luego vamos a agregar el complemento. Ok, no sé si hay dudas, questions. Les voy a compartir esto en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Por si no están ahí, me indican y les comparto el enlace en este lugar. Se los, no sé si tú estás en el grupo. ¿Cuánto tiempo vamos a tener para hacer ah, esto? Vamos a tener unos 25 minutos, right? Unos 25 minutos. And uh, then... Ustedes lo van a presentar here in the class. Por el momento vamos a estar practicando más que todo gramática. Ya a partir de la próxima semana ya va, va, vamos a hacer prácticas de speaking, right? Una pregunta. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad que esto está en la plataforma? ¿Este ejercicio? No. Sí. Este no. ejercicio, no. El último que les acabo de mencionar, no. Uh -huh. Lo que sí tenemos es el mismo material, right? Los sí, o sea, la pregunta es si nosotros lo vamos llenando, uh -huh. ¿eso se va a ir guardando? O, ¿O solo se van a ver en la clase y después ya no lo vamos a poder practicar? Uh -huh. Porque yo no he entrado a la plataforma, por eso... No, 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 no. Este último ejercicio, usted lo puede practicar si tiene su cuaderno, en su cuaderno, si no en, uh -huh. en un documento Word. Ah, ok. Este, este, okay. No lo vamos, este último no lo vamos a encontrar en la plataforma. Ah, ok, uh -huh. gracias. Ok. So, les he compartido también ahí el enlace para el grupo de WhatsApp. Y nos vamos entonces a los breakout rooms. Recordemos darle clic en Join y usted va a estar trabajando con dos compañeros. Let's go. We are 16. Okay, let's go, guys. If you have questions, también me pueden llamar, right? You can tell me o me escriben en el grupo de WhatsApp. Let's go. Okay. 
Let's go, guys. ¿Cómo vamos, Karina? Ok. Jonathan. No yet. Eh, ¿Tenemos problemas? Jonathan, hola, hola. ¿Cómo vamos, Karina? Tiene que... Agre, lo estamos, vamos a trabajar en grupos, entonces tiene que unirse, ahí le va a aparecer un, una pestañita que dice join, ahí se tiene que darle clic. ¿Le aparece, Karina? Va, vamos a intentarlo otra vez. Y ahí, ahí le va a aparecer en su teléfono. Solo me aparece en el grupo de WhatsApp que soy parte del grupo. No, no. Vayámonos, está, puede ver la, está en Zoom. Vaya a Zoom. Puede uh -huh. irse a Zoom. Vaya. Entonces, le voy a, voy, vamos a hacerlo nuevamente. Ahora. Hola Karina, vamos a intentarlo otra vez, ¿ok? Sí. La voy a unir a un grupo primero, pero luego la voy a mover porque eh, estamos cabal. ¿Qué? Hola Karina.
Hello guys, do you have questions? Tenemos dudas? Um, no, por el momento no. Okay, perfect. I let you work, guys. Let me know if you have questions, okay? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm.
meeting is being recorded. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, let's start. I hope you get all the exercises. So let's practice them. Okay, I want to listen the first group. Okay, Dennis, Guadalupe, and Usuario de Zoom. I don't know. What's your name? Creo que no, no sé. Creo que no. Okay, Dennis and Guadalupe. So what do you have uh, from one to five? What do you have? Hello. This part, letter A. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Vamos a empezar. Let's start with the letter, the first part, right? Letter A from one to five, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you the, have? The grills are in the park. Okay, estamos saying I am happy today. This one. Mm -hmm. Vamos por la, por la dos o por la uno. Number two. Mm -hmm. Number two. Alice and Susie. Mm -hmm. Alice and Susie are my cat. Muy bien. Tenemos que it is... All right. Okay, continue. We are at school. Mm -hmm. We she, are. Continue, please. She is year five. Okay, she. She is. Okay, let's see. Number four, she is. Okay, continue. Number five. The girls are in the park. Yes, the girls are right. right. They are. They are from Italy. Okay. We have six that it is R. Continue. Seven. The cat, the cat is in the school bag. The cat is. Okay. Eight. My name is Linda. That's right. Is nine. What do you have? Angela is a nice girl. That's right. Number 10. Liz is 11 mm -hmm. years old and I am 10. Okay, thank you, Denise. Can you please continue, Guadalupe? From 11 to 16. Uh, the bike is blue and green. That's right. 12. My brother is okay, always I nice have, to me. Uh, mm, My brother. Vamos a revisar. My brothers. Uh, my brothers. Uh -huh. uh, is. Okay, mis hermanos. Always, my brothers. My brothers is always nice uh -huh. to me. Okay, in that case, en ese caso, vamos a utilizar are, porque uh -huh. tenemos okay. la palabra que es plural, right? My brothers uh -huh. are. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Continue, please. Here, dog. Mm -hmm. Your dog is very small. Muy bien. 14. You are my friend. Perfect. 15. We are in London. Okay. And the last Miami one. is beautiful. That's right. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Guadalupe. Great job. Okay. okay. Eh, solo para hacer un recap, guys. Recordemos que siempre que tengamos, en este caso, la S, me indica que es una palabra plural. Por lo tanto, lo voy a utilizar con el verbo to be, are. Okay, thank you. Let's move on with the next one. Let's listen to group number two. Andrea, Andrea and Gabriela and Victor. Okay, let's see. Can you help me, Andrea, the, from number one to four, please? Las tenemos que hacer en negativo. ¿Cómo las tenemos? Tell me. What do you have? The party, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. they are not from Spain. Okay, perfect, continue. Uh, I am not mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. You are not bright. Mm -hmm. uh, it 
is not his book. That's right. It's not right. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. My okay. mother. Ah. Okay, vamos a escuchar to your partners. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Let's listen now to Gabriela Beatriz. This step from number five to eight, please. Uh, my mother is not at work. Is not at work. Mm -hmm. Mike and Brian are not brothers. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Kate is not tired. Mm -hmm. John is not her cousin. Okay. We are we are not in the classroom. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Let's listen now to Victor Esquivel. Vamos a ayudar con la part C. Victor, desde la número two hasta number five. Okay. Estos tienen que ser en la forma negativa utilizando la short ride. What do you have? Okay. Okay. Uh, you aren't late. Okay. Tenemos aren't right. Uh -huh. Continue. Um, um, and bet, 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 mm -hmm. aren't okay. friend. That's right. Mm -hmm. Continue. The parrot isn't in the cage. Perfect. Okay, one more. Give me one more. Number five. Mm -hmm. Alan, uh, Alan isn't German. Okay, Alan isn't German. Okay. German. Okay, German. thank you. Uh, thank you, Victor. That's Okay, thank you. Perfect. Let's listen now to group number three. Elizabeth, please, can you help me? Desde la number uh, seven hasta ten, please. Seven. Mm -hmm. We aren't. Yeah. Uh -huh. Luis. Muy bien. Yeah. Mr. Jade is a. In, is an English teacher. Perfect. Lily mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. a uh, home, home. It's sent at home. Mm -hmm. At home. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación? Yeah. No problem. Mm -hmm. Y esa es. Mm -hmm. I'm not 12. I'm not, right? It can be I'm not. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So let's listen now to Karina Hill, please. La siguiente parte de la 1 a la 3, please. Karina. Tenemos que ordenar, right? Sí, We have perdón, to order. Perdón. Sí. We are not from Paris. Okay, we are not from Paris. Okay. The train is late. Muy bien, the train is late. They are not hungry. Muy bien, they are not hungry. Mr. Mr. Miller is nice. Miller, okay, Mrs. Miller is nice. You are not a. Muy bien, that's right. The pupils are at school. The pupils are at school. Muy bien. Bill is not a doctor. Bill is not a doctor. Mm -hmm. His cats are black. Perfect. His cats are black. Okay, questions about these exercise guys, questions? No questions? No, okay, congratulations guys. You did a very good job. Okay, now we are going to have this, okay, what time is it? Okay, now we don't have time. Lucky you guys. Okay, so let's, voy a pasar la asistencia, right? Okay, let's see. Give me just a second for me. Mm, let me see the names. Okay, let's see. Okay, there it is. Okay, Miss here, veamos Alejandra Abigail. Are you there, Alejandra? Alejandra, hello. Eh, quería saber si habían pasado asistencia al principio que tenía problemas de. No escuchaba, solo estaba conectada, pero no escuchaba. Ok, sí, pues, ahorita, ahorita le estamos pasando. Eh... Ok. Uh -huh. 
ahorita. No Gracias. problem. Ok, Thank Alejandra. You. Ok. Eh, veamos. Alison Guadalupe. Alison. <coughs> Alison is here. Present. Not. It's not here. Ok. Let's see. Andrea Maria Cruz. Is here Andrea Maria Cruz? Present. Okay, thank you. And uh, let's see, Cynthia Esther Ramos is here. Cynthia? No está Cynthia? Cynthia Esther. Okay, let's see another. Denis Ulises Madrid. Presente. Okay, thank you, Denis. And Dora Guadalupe is here. Dora? Dora? Presente. Ah, okay. Presente. Okay. Dora. Dora, Dora. Dora. Okay. Dora. No puedo ver a Dora. Puede ser. Ah. Okay. okay. Let's see. Okay, Dora, Elizabeth Magali is here. Elizabeth Magali. Yes, I'm. Okay. Uh, Emma Gloria. Presente. Okay. Let's see. Jonathan Alexis. Jonathan Alexis. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Jose Luis Gomez. Jose Luis Gomez. Jose Luis Gómez is here. No. Okay, let's see. Karina del Carmen. Presente. Oh. Maybe Marbeli. Presente. Maybe Marbeli, okay. Eh, Raquel Beatriz. Okay, Raquel Beatriz. Okay, let's see. Roxana Lices. Ruth Verónica. Ruth Verónica. No, Ruth. Okay, it's not here. Uh, Sofía Stephanie. Sofía Stephanie. Presente. Okay, Sofía. Sofía. Okay, and uh, Victor Manuel. Present. Okay, thank you, Victor. Victor. And the last one, Wendy Selenia. Wendy Selenia. What's that? It's not here, Wendy. Okay, so guys, I am thinking I am missing out. No? I mean. Okay, Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela. Sí, Gabriela. Ya la tengo, Gabriela. Thank you. Okay, guys, if there is no more question, I will say goodbye to you. Have a good night and rest a lot. Have a good day tomorrow, guys. See you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Good night guys. Take care. Good See you. Night. Good night. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. bye. bye.